Hello and welcome. So today we're going to test out my backpackable two meter halo. Okay, so this is a prototype version, and um, this is the one that I um, started on the, the video the, the, the couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. So it's based on a design that I found on the internet. Um, for this particular version, I, just, I found some three core mains wire, which I, uh, I soldered the three ends together on each end, so it just made a complete Sorry, it made a. Uh, so I soldered the the ends that together there and the ends together there, but there's a gap inside here between the, this wire. So it's 98.5 centimeters with a about a four four or five centimeter gap inside there. Currently, I've just got these taped here for the moment. Uh, so I have a a capacitor here as part of the gamma match. Uh, this capacitor is the one that I've replaced. The, the original one snapped when I was uh, testing it. So this is the uh, capacitor. Um, this is a ceramic capacitor, a variable capacitor for the gamma match. Uh, eventually, I'm going to be hiding this uh, inside uh, this inspection hatch. Um, so it's out the way and take some of that tension off there. Uh, and then on the next version, I'm going to be using some of that um, wire tidy, the 20 millimeter uh, flexible hose type of cable tidy that should go inside this 20 mil um, diameter here uh, and then seal that up so it acts, so it will look a lot, a lot neater. Um, currently, I've just got a, a feed line just coming straight down with a, a length. But eventually what I may do is actually on this uh, panel here, when the panel's put on, is to put a socket on there so that uh, you can carry your feed lines separately. So this is, uh, this is the prototype version. Uh, the aim today is to um, use the Soto, Soto Beams Tactical Mini and uh, get that strapped onto this fence. So one of the aims for the halo is to sit, hopefully, on one of the sections of a telescopic pole so that it can be lifted up and then it's, it, it's, it, it securely fits on it. So um, yeah, I'm hoping to, I've checked it at home. The SWR is barely registered. I've, so I've not got a two meter um, analyzer for the, an antenna analyzer. But well, I've checked the SWR at home, and the SWR hardly registers. So uh, I'm I'm happy that the radio is going to be safe. I just don't know how efficient um, it's acting at the moment. So I'll just get it put put up in the air, get the radio set up. I might just have a bit of a cup of tea as well because it's freezing here. It's uh, it's not rained yet, so I'm hoping uh, we can have a spot of radio before the rain comes down. It's so just just want to just show you this. Uh, this is a uh, quite a large um, circular um, depression in the ground. Uh, I, I would say that it's probably about uh, 100 meters by about 150 meters. So whatever that is in yards. I might try and put that on the uh, up below, but. It dips down and I wonder if uh, we could have fun with this and actually have some type of antenna of some type going across it. Um, so that one day that's going to be uh, something to play with as well. So uh, yeah, this is my uh, usual testing spot for um, uh, quickly getting out and testing antennas. So, okay, so um, it's, it's up by about, I'd say it's about four meters in the air at the moment. It's, it looks like a drone from there. Uh, so I've got 
this now it's into the radio I'm just going to uh, sit down and try and uh, just test out the SWR again make sure that uh, I've not uh, damaged it somehow because it's all still a bit Heath Robinson at the moment so I'm just cautious of disrupting the uh, especially the gamma match that uh, last time that that's what went last time on oh the tail was a bit nippy the SWR is um, it's not registering on the on the radio I know it's not the most accurate way of uh, analyzing an antenna but I just wanted to make sure that the radio is safe so the SWR I'm actually down on the uh, SSB calling frequency which is 144300 um, I'm even going to uh, dig out my logbook that's how confident I am even though my hands don't work you never know right Secure, 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 secure. This is two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Call and secure. I'm standing by for a call. Okay, I'm on the uh, Yi 4K action camera because the batteries run out on my phone. Uh, so yeah, there's been a station calling in and uh, who knows, there might be somebody who just picks me up and uh, completes uh, a QSO. Uh, but I'm not, not despondent, it's, it's what I um, can't imagine there'd be that many people on the two metres. So <clears throat> I'll keep trying. And uh, I'll and then yeah, I'll keep trying, and uh, we'll see. Secure, 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 secure. This is two echoes. Oh, fingers aren't working very well. Fingers aren't working very well now. Is this frequency in use? This is two echo zero echo Zulu Tango portable. Uh, Golf eight GTD. This is two echo zero echo Zulu Tango. Yeah, two echo zero echo Zulu Tango portable. Golf eight Golf Tango Delta. Very good morning to you. And uh, thanks for coming back to me. My name's Steve. Steve is the name. QTH about 15 miles north of the city of Derby. I'll give you a report on the next over, but uh, not too strong with me, but perfectly Q5 to Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable, Golf 8, Golf Tango Delta. Yep, uh, G8 GTD. This is a 2E0EZT uh, Portable. The name is Carl. Charlie Alpha Romeo Lima. You are 5 2. 5-2. I'm currently filming a video for my YouTube channel. I've I've uh, I've built a two meter backpackable halo. So that I'm using the prototype of a, an antenna that I'm trying to build for my uh, backpacking adventures. So you're the first uh, proper contact uh, on a field test of the antenna. So thank you very much, there, Steve. Yeah, um, it's five. You give me give me five two here, and I'm currently in. High, high ish ground, about 250, 300, well, about 250 meters up uh, in uh, Stoke on Trent. Uh, back to you, Steve. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I think uh, we're probably not that good. Just uh, not the beam around a little bit.
the, uh, the video you're shooting and also the Halo. The antenna I used to use a lot mobile uh, many years ago on two meters. Fantastic antenna, uh, particularly for, uh, <laughs> for working at the C horizontal. And uh, I have a square version. It works. Yeah, the 2E0EZT portable returning. Yeah, you, you drop down a little bit there, Steve, when you turn the beam. So um, I'm in uh, the locator is in the Oscar 82 Whiskey X ray, I believe. Um, so where you were before, you were on about a 5.3, now you're down to about a 5.1, or even a full one almost. So. Um, uh, but still, still, still audible, still working. Um, not, not like my hands at the moment. I'm uh, a little bit chilly up here. The uh, um, roll on, uh, roll on spring and summer. I say back to you, Steve. Oh, lost me. What's going on? Yep, cheers Steve, yeah, wish you all the best, thank you for uh, making the uh, first contact on this antenna, uh, have, a, have a good weekend, so uh, Golf 8, uh, Golf uh, Tango Delta, this is 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango Portable, uh, bye bye for now. CQ, 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 this is 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango Portable, 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango Portable, call in CQ, stand by for call. Yes, got the contact, happy days, it works, um, it's difficult to compare um, the signal between this and uh, let's say a, a, a simple a two element Jaeger or anything like obviously it's a different uh, antenna altogether but it works so um, a quick calculation I think that that contact I had was about 30 odd miles away I can get a better calculation when I get home 30 odd miles so about 40 odd kilometres which um, isn't, isn't too bad really so um, yes I'll get a better I'll get a more accurate measure of that anyway but it's about 30 odd miles I think from here so I'm happy with that but plenty of work to do but uh, I've had one contact at home uh, and I've had one contact on the first field test so happy days also I need to uh, look at using the stacked halos and give me more DB gain uh, the, the weight of this particular one is I'd say it's about the same weight as a uh, small mobile phone, it's really lightweight. Um, it does strap onto the back of the backpack quite easy and the one of the biggest areas, one of the weakest areas on, on this particular one was the gamma match and especially where it fastened onto the uh, capacitor. So all of that needs to be better protected um, so, so the strain doesn't pull on it but that we can easily get to the variable uh, cap so that we can adjust it as well. So um, there's more work to do. So hopefully uh, I'll get more of that on video over the next few weeks and we'll see the next version of the antenna put together as well. So yeah, happy days anyway, it's working. Okay, if, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, um, please can you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but please tell me why for this video. If you're not yet subscribed, can you hit the subscribe button because uh, knowing that I've got people that actually enjoy the videos and actually come back and watch more really helps me to think and learn about what people want to watch. And uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy the video and look forward to the next one. So uh, bye bye for now. Actually I can do this like this. <laughs>